This is the Harry Mandir, the world's largest free kitchen. It serves free vegetarian food to about 100,000 people every day. It's also the holiest site in Sikhism, Sikhism, the fifth largest and youngest of the world religions. Youngest of the main world religions. So, what? Wow, guys, Sikhism is bigger than Judaism. So they're so young. That's actually a major achievement. Think about being so much younger than all of these ma world's major religion. And you're st even though you're this young, you still manage to be not the last. You're still, you know, you're not, you're bigger than Judaism now. I, I always wonder, how could you be this young of a religion and think that you are the religion? Like, yeah, the whole humanity only discovered the truth only recently. Like, yeah, like, how could you be the way if you're this young? Like, it gives you, yeah, most, I mean, Islam could say, like, we, see, Islam, even, Islam, even though is one of, is the last Abrahamic religions, they pretend that they're the eldest one, because they pretend, like, Islam was the religion of Adam and Eve, Moses, and Jesus, they were all Muslim, so they're like, yeah, no, God was sending every humanity the right one true path since Adam. So they are younger than most religions here. Um, I think the only religion that they are that uh, that is younger than them is Sikhism. But at least they pretend that they're the oldest religion. They, at least they pretend like they were Islam was their religion since Adam, and everybody else just corrupted the religion. And that's why we have Christianity and Judaism, just because you know is they corrupted Islam and they misrepresent what Jesus and Moses said. Um, but so, I mean, and Christianity thinks that, yeah, I mean, really God just, Christianity is just a new version of God's religion, like the New Testament, but God also sent prophets from the beginning. So it's not like God abandoned them and, um, Hindus and Jews, they don't have to pretend anything because they were like, yeah, we were here since forever. But what does, and Buddhists, I don't know what the Buddhists, what the hell. Oh, we need to do Buddhism, right? Yeah, let's do Buddhism, another Buddhism, li live stream on Buddhism at some point. But Sikhs, how do they, how do they justify this? Like, yeah, yeah, we're pretty new, but our way is the way. So we'll see. We'll see how they justify that. A religion that preaches about love, peace, and the equality of humankind but also asks its followers to carry swords. Yeah, and they get to ha take that into airplanes for some goddamn reason. If nobody else gets to do that. Um, so let's see if this is true, but the justification I've heard for carrying this sword, that they're peaceful, but we carry, I mean, it's not a sword, it's like a dagger, right? They say like, yeah, we, we're not supposed to ever pull it out. And if you do pull it out, you have to draw, oh my God, I can't say that. You have to draw, somebody needs to, how do I say the thing? You you need to, uh, I don't know, You I don't know what the rules are for YouTube regarding this one. Red liquid stuff needs to come out of somebody before you put it back. So, so like, wait a minute, that sounds pretty violent. If you pull it out, somebody needs to get wet with it, red stuff. And they're like, yeah, but that's not violent because that is actually, it discourages people. Like they say, like, that means that people are not just going to pull it out willy nilly. That sounded dirty. Um, but that's, so that's why it's not violent at all. Yeah, red liquid. Sorry, Pyro, I'm going to say red liquid. Again, guys, if this if this is new to you, this kind of talk, you're like, why are we not just saying it? it? Because I don't know what the YouTube could, is just handing out demonetization to everybody left and right. So I don't know what we're trying to avoid that, right? Um, yeah. So let's see how could you have your religion tell everybody to carry a sword, but you're also at the same time for peace. So who are the six? What do they believe? 
and why does everyone confuse them for Muslims? Oh yeah, no, okay. The people who confuse them for Muslims, they're they're morons. But um, again, my understanding is that if Hinduism and Islam had a baby, that would be Sikhism. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what I think. What I've led to believe that you know Islam and Hinduism hate each other, but one night they had they made love, they had hate sex, um, and and they ended up having a baby, and that was Sikhism. Six. What do they believe, and why does everyone confuse them for Muslims? Well, let's find out. Sikhism originated in the Punjab area of India and Pakistan. By hmm, Punjab area of India and Pakistan. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not just Islam and Hinduism had a baby. It's kind of like right where Pakistan and India are separated as well, which is like geographically, it's like Islam and Hinduism had a baby. 500 years ago. The Punjab, the... Only five, guys, only 500 years ago. Imagine that. That's how new the religion is. Land of Five Rivers is one of the most historically. <gasps> what the hell? Have have been so blind, Punjab. That's why it's called Punjab. Why did I never see this? I just had like a moment of realization. Panj means five. Ab means water. Punjab means the land of five waters because there's five rivers. These are Persian words. How come I never saw? How come my my mind just blown? Panj is a Persian word, which is five. Ab is a Persian word, which is water. And there's five rivers. Why did I never knew this? I mean, I should have known this. It's been staring me in Punjab. It's been staring me in the face forever, and I only now realize this. What the hell? Yeah, kid is like, you really never knew this? No, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I just realized this right now. I mean, the, the video didn't even say, say it. It just clicked in my head just for right now. Years ago, the Punjab, the land of five rivers, is one of the most oh historically God. and culturally dense areas on Earth. This was the home of one of the world's earliest civilizations, the Indus Valley Civilization. Persians, Greeks, Central Asians, Mughals, the British, and others have all invaded here. I Wait, what is that guy? <laughs> Hold on. Persians? This was the home of one of the world's earliest civilizations, the Indus Valley Civilization. Persians, Greeks, Central Asians, Mughals, the British. <laughs> I just got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this channel sense of humor is top notch. Muggles, mug, mug, <laughs> Mongols, muggles, right? So Mongols sounds like muggles <laughs> from Harry Potter, and he just replaced Mongols with this guy. <laughs> Oh god, this is so good. This is so good. Guys, guys, go go subscribe to look, I'm gonna like this channel. I'm already subscribed. I'm gonna, guys, so I like this video, so you guys should like this video as well, okay? See how easy it was? Just like this video as well. British and others have all invaded here. I meant I meant Mughals. Mo Mughal Mughals invaded here. Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, Jainism, and a handful of other faiths have all left their mark on the region. The diverse culture of the Punjab has heavily influenced the Sikhs. This is why I didn't understand it was get Punjab because they see Punjab. It's Panjab. Panj. Panj is five. Panjab. Today there are about twenty-five million Sikhs. They make up about two percent of India's population. What about? Oh wait, how many of them were there before? Sorry. The, before they were and a handful of other faiths have all left their mark on the region hmm. the diverse culture of the punjab has heavily influenced the six today there are about 25 million six they make up 25 million about two percent of india's population but about 60 percent of the punjabs the hmm. six interesting 60 percent so they're all like just densely populated sikh area uh, sikh people in punjab Diaspora is spread out across the world, with concentrations in the UK, Canada, the US, East Africa. In Canada, they're politicians. Australia. 
Wait, where else? Concentrations in the UK, Canada, the US, East Africa, Australia and Malaysia. Six, interestingly enough, make up about 1.5% of Canada's Can population, yeah. which is second only to India. <gasps> wow, so the population of Sikhs in Canada is the, almost the same percentage as India. That's a lot of Sikhs in Canada. The word Sikh means learner. Sikhs call their religion Sikhi, Gur Sikhi and Gurmat. 